this little guy? The reason number one, all the forest critters love you out here. <laughs> Why would you want to live this lifestyle? That's the biggest question and I feel like a lot of people kind of question as to why someone would want to do this and not just being a normal house or anything like that. I'd say about 50% of the time people will say travel and the other 50% is like it's just cheaper to live this way. There's also the other side of this where people are forced into this and that's a whole nother topic. Um, me, I probably fall in between the, it's cheaper and uh, I want to travel. So it's cheaper so I can go travel more. And that's why I do it. It just makes more sense for me. These little birds here, it's just crazy. <laughs> so we'll talk about the cheap side of it. It's definitely cheaper. My most expense, my biggest expense that I've noticed has gone up since living in a normal house is probably fuel. That's also like probably my fault too, because I'm traveling more now that I can actually afford to. So my expense on fuel went up, but it still doesn't rival what I was paying for like a mortgage and utilities. My other expensive thing is propane, but that's also my fault. I live somewhere that gets down to like minus 20 half the year, it seems. So that's kind of on me I could have went somewhere warmer and then my propane wouldn't have cost so much so let's talk about the travel aspect I am currently in Hinton Alberta right now I spent the day in Jasper yesterday and uh, yeah I've been able just to get away for the weekend before when I was uh, living by myself in a three-bedroom duplex I was paying it was about a thousand dollars a month in my for my mortgage and then my utilities were another 300 and then various other things for the house like uh taxes and stuff that ended up being like another 200 plus insurance another hundred it ended up it was like an extra two thousand dollars just to live in that house and all i wanted to do was just get away from it i wanted to get out of town go to these types of places and spend my time here it didn't really make sense to have a house in that case i'd rather just be living in this thing and have more money to come to places like this so another great thing is is i'm not tied to a job that pays really well if i want to i can still go and try new things and figure out what i want to do for work because the amount of money that i need to survive is very very low compared to what it was when I had the actual place to live. The other thing too is like where I live right now, like you hear like me say like a thousand dollars for a mortgage, that's nothing, absolutely nothing. But everywhere else in this country that you'd actually want to live at, it would be a lot more money for that. So me to actually be able to try any sort of job out there that would pay enough that I could actually live out there was really hard and it made me feel a lot trapped and that's why I really like this lifestyle I can go to these places and still be able to survive yeah. so the more I talk about this uh, the more I'm realizing uh, probably your hardest part with it's going to be uh, actually buying the van if you have the money saved up and everything's good to go then yeah that's easy peasy if not, uh, you're either financing it or you're going to be saving, trying to save as much as you can to get something or buy something really cheap. Um, and there is ways, and I do believe that people can find deals on stuff still. It just takes time and you can find them. Going into this lifestyle, it's probably best not to go into debt because you're gonna have a lot more enjoyment without going into debt. So if you can save the money for it, but uh, you know what, you do you, and you do what's ever best for your situation. And uh, if you're watching this video, then 
you're probably somehow thinking about this or you're fascinated by it. And uh, yeah, I'll just let you know that uh, I went into this uh, without going without any debt, and I plan on keeping it that way, just because uh, any way that I spend or spend money and uh, or go into debt just so I can have something slightly nicer is just moving the goalpost for me being able to do what I want. This one no one ever talks about, I noticed. Your life kind of gets a bit more exciting when you uh, do this. When I was just living in like a normal house, it was like, oh, uh, I guess I'll go shower. I just went downstairs and went to my shower and took a shower. Now it's like, huh, I need to shower. So I need to go find a place to shower. So you have to go and find a place. You have to be resourceful. You have to figure out uh, where you're going to sleep that night, where you're going to park. The other thing too is like, if you're going to spend the day somewhere, like you don't really, I don't really like the idea of like where I slept that night. I don't like staying there all day. So I'll usually drive to like uh, somewhere else, like um, even like sitting outside my gym in the parking lot. Like that I'll do too. Or like uh, I'll be going for a walk later that day. So I'll go to the park and I'll basically just hang out in the back of the camper until I go for my walk. And then, yeah, that's probably why I spend more on fuel. But it's definitely made my life more interesting. I don't feel bored at all. Every day is uh, kind of exciting now. And uh, it's always something. Or you'll discover that you have new problems to deal with rather than uh, a mortgage or something or like money wise. No, it's an interesting lifestyle. I'll say that. I guess the other thing too, is this for everyone? And I'd say probably not. If you're someone that just wants to be at home, you live in like, if you're someone and you live in like a city or something and you just like the idea of being able to come home, shower, hang out, host uh, friends at your home and everything like that, then you're probably not going to like this because you're going to try to host friends in your truck camper and it's going to be a little crammed. They're going to be like, what? And even if they want to come over to your truck camper, that's a whole nother thing. So yeah, this isn't for everyone. This is for someone I'd say is looking to save money, travel, and just I don't know, just experience uh, stuff that's not the norm. I'm not normal. For some reason, I just love this lifestyle. Like to say that I'm like most people would be would be very far from the truth because I've like fantasized about this lifestyle for like the last probably five years now. Ever since I first went and just did car camping. It was just like, oh, I'd love to just be able to go do this all the time and go places and see things. I've just always loved it. The other thing, too, is I don't have uh, any kids or anything like that. There's days that I do feel a bit weird for, like, wanting to do this. But at the end of the day, like, it's not that weird to do. You're just, like, we all live the same. We all do the same things every day. It's just... I live in a truck camper and I have a few extra chores that I do, but I don't have to pay the bills that people that live in a fixed house do. I have the freedom to drive wherever I want and work wherever I want because my house moves now. It's not fixated to one place. Another good question is, is what have I done this lifestyle if I was living somewhere that had everything that I wanted? So. It was in the mountains, had a ski resort, and I was paying the same mortgage, the same game paid the same at the job. Um, honestly, I might have not. I might have actually probably stayed just doing that. But who knows? And that's all in hindsight, right? Like, you can't know how you would have felt in that situation. And... That's the same thing as like when I moved into here, I didn't know if I was going to like this. I was very much thought to myself, I was like, this could end up being like me moving into here and then getting an apartment in a month because I hate it. It's just been so good and so easy. And I don't know 
it's been empowering. I'm finally like being my own self now and it feels really good. I don't know what else to say in this video. If you're someone that's thinking about doing this lifestyle and you're looking to either save money or you want to save money and go traveling, this is a great way to do it. It's a lot cheaper and and you're going to be able to get to your goals sooner. And I mean, do you really need a house while you're traveling? Like, I guess your other option too would be like sublet your apartment and then go do this. And that way, if something happened, then you could try, you could go back. But I, I don't know. If you've been thinking about doing this for a long time and you have like a really positive attitude going into it, you're not going to have a bad time. It's, it's a lot of planning and a lot of like thinking about everything going on here. But if you're someone that has been like me, like I've been looking into doing this for like the last five years, I had an idea that I was going to like it. And it's been four months. I still have no regrets to doing this. It's been perfectly fine. And it feels, I honestly couldn't tell you uh, anything that I really missed about the house. There's not really much that I'm missing from my old house. I have everything that basically it had except for a microwave. So there's that. But anyways, you guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. If you're thinking about doing this lifestyle, I'd say watch some more videos. Really think about it. Write down a pros and cons list and uh, just plan. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later. Oh, 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 oh,